Morning and welcome to another Tea Break Coach session. Uh, I've got a really big cup of tea. Look at the size of that cup of tea this morning. So if you're having a similar sort of day, I hope today's three minute session really helps you to focus or to get some value. Um, we're going to do some more top right questions this morning and top right gets its own chapter in my first book and once again there is a free download available on toprightthinking.com and you'll see it looks a bit like this it's about top right questions so this is my journal and on every page there is a top right question in the top right hand corner and top right questions just to remind you are questions we can ask other people or we can ask ourselves and these are questions that are really supportive really warm really curious but they're also really challenging and i've told you before that all my business cards have actually got different top right questions on the back because i don't know about you i hate handing out business cards but actually if i give people the gift of one of these questions that were actually gifted to me by coaches from all across the world from all of the environments that i've worked in they're really precious so i'm hoping that a couple of these questions really help you this morning so as we sit together today just have a think about a problem or a challenge that you're experiencing in your life and just have a think about whether one of these questions can help you unlock some new thinking, some new perspectives on that or maybe remove a limiting belief that you have about your potential to solve this particular challenge. And if you've downloaded this, just scribble some of your answers in these little stars and have a look at it afterwards and just see if looking at your answers actually gives you a different perspective as well. So thinking about your challenge, um, this is a question from Kerry. If I waved a magic wand and everything was suddenly perfect, what would that look like? If I waved a magic wand and everything was suddenly perfect, what would that look like? And a question from Amelia, which I love as well. Which emotion might you be trying to avoid? Which emotion might you be trying to avoid? Now, the reason that this one is so powerful is we like to think we're creatures who are really logical and rational. But one of the things we know from science now is that actually it's our emotion that drives our behaviours. So if we can get under the skin of the emotion we're trying to avoid, we can sometimes remove some of the fear that we're experiencing that's actually holding us back. It could be fear, it could be shame, it could be any of those emotions that feel a little bit dangerous sometimes to expose yourself to. Actually facing them, experiencing them, living with them can actually take us forward so that we can remove some of the barriers that we're putting on ourselves to achieving absolutely anything we want to achieve.